about, you know, the head and the heart business, but the way you think is the way you feel. And the way you feel is the way you think. For different people, different things run first. For some people, their thoughts, today largely because of the type of education, for most people their thoughts run ahead of their emotions. But still there is a sizable percentage of people for whom their emotions run ahead of their thought. Now what Sonaksi is asking is, there are situations that you don't wish to be in, but emotions are tangled up. So thought keeps going there, unknowingly you keep walking in the direction. What you need to understand is, thought is agile. Today my thought says she is the most wonderful person. Tomorrow, if she does something that I don't like, immediately my thought says she is no good. But if my emotions have gone ahead with this wonderful person, emotions are not that agile, they cannot turn around so quickly, it's little sappy, it takes time. In the meantime you struggle because thought says this is not okay, but emotion is still entangled. Now what do I do about this? Don't try to control your emotions or thoughts, because the very nature of your mind is such that I don't want to think about this person means that's the only person I'm going to think about for the rest of my life. So, when compulsive thoughts and emotions come, first and foremost thing that you do is, you simply see them for what they are. You don't try to resist them. The moment you resist, they will multiply. In this mind, you don't have subtraction and division, you only have addition and multiplication. So, what you need to do, one thing is, just understand that thought and emotion are just a recycle of the data that is already there, something that you remember. It is just that memory is little smelly, it just keeps coming. You just have to see it like that, little distance from that. It is like you were jammed in a traffic jam, you were going to the airport, you got stuck in a traffic jam, how much anxiety and struggle you had, then somehow you got there and then you got into the airplane and you took off. From up there when you look down, how nice the traffic jam looks, you know? <laughs> simply because there is a little distance, still the same traffic jam, but because there is a distance, suddenly there is nothing to it. Similarly with your thought and emotion, a little bit of practice to create a little distance from your physiological processes and your psychological processes come. But if you try to handle individual thought and emotion, they will multiply thousandfold. You have said, uh, we should know this piece of life through its fullest. Uh, how to know this piece of life through its fullest? Uh, I feel that I'm full of fear, pain and jealous, all those things. How to go beyond all these things? Man, to know this life through its fullest. You don't have to go beyond all these things. You just have to stop creating those things. <laughs> your fear, your anger, all these are products of a mind which you have not taken charge of. Your mind is capable of producing joy, your mind is capable of producing fear, your mind is capable of producing anxiety, turmoil, tranquility, agony, ecstasy, it can produce anything. It, it is producing things that you do not want <coughs> simply because you do not know how to handle it. There is no need for anybody to handle their fear, their anger, their whatever. Nor is there any need for anybody to seek happiness or peace or joy or blissfulness. 
there is no need. All you have to do is, you have to spend some time, you have to do certain sadhana to find out where the keyboard is for this fantastic computer that is loaded on your head. You don't know where the keyboard is, so you're punching all the wrong numbers. So all kinds of things are happening. So either you can make this mind into a miracle or you can make this mind into a misery manufacturing machine. So the misery in the form of anger or fear, you don't have to do anything about it. You just have to stop the production line, you know, not the product <laughs> You just have to stop the production line and start a different product. You must see that joy is coming out of it, bliss is coming out of it, because the same mind is capable of that also. Sometimes you're joyful, sometimes. <laughs> a young man like this <laughs> So it is capable of joy also. So you just have to… Jay is always here <laughs> You know the computer? <laughs> That's where it is. If you do like this, like this, like this, misery, misery, misery <laughs> And if you hold one button, misery, 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 misery will multiply. <laughs> You should know how to keep your hands off the keyboard and just punch what you want. Now, unaware, you don't even know where it is, it's punching. If you can't think properly, <laughs> that's not where it is. Wrong buttons <laughs> So <laughs> So… There is sadhana to take charge of your body, to take charge of your mind, to take charge of your energies, to take charge of everything that you are. Rather than taking charge of it, you are wishing for a nice product. It will not happen like that. Life has never worked like that. Not for anybody, never ever has anything worked for anybody by doing all the wrong things. Unless you do the right things, Right things do not happen to you at all. Movies in the game.